Rhino Art District is a neighborhood endeavor within five points. Rhino stands for River North. It used to be the industrial heart of Denver, but during the 1980s and 90s, these factories moved outside the city center. Around this time, artists began to move in as studio and living spaces were affordable. In 2004, the city of Denver, along with the neighborhood, leaders start, started the River North plan intending to give the district a new life. In 2005, artists Tracy Well and Jill Hadley Hopper established the River North Art District. In 2014, it was certified as a creative district by Colorado Creative Industries. In 2015, the Rhino Business Improvement District and the Rhino General Improvement District both helped to keep the art at the center of Rhino. The hope of the new district is to move forward and grow without losing its artist identity. Today, Rhino is home to many new buildings, projects, breweries, art galleries, restaurants, and a number of small businesses. Between 2006 and 2016, the residential property value has increased from $95 million to $484.5 million. Continue to get shot in this neighborhood mm -hmm. to this day. I mean, somebody got murdered a month ago. The East Side, mm -hmm. and the art has been uh, a major positive for everybody. Really, it's just the artists getting exposure, the respect they get from the other artists, and the, now the city of Denver, mm -hmm. which is neighborhood is allowing this to happen. Mm -hmm. And this is the art district yeah. for five years. And now it's one of the hottest real estate yeah. markets in the country. The economic yeah. transition from this being a very dangerous neighborhood to one of the top real estate markets in the country mm -hmm. um, in a very short amount of time. The city even agreed to let us do this down here is because of all the tagging was rampant up here. Mm -hmm. And if you bring in an amazing artist from Brooklyn to paint your building, they're not going to tag it. Okay. Because now the city saves money on this, this wall on top of us. Here is a wall right above us here. And that was a very big beef wall where everybody was getting on the roof and tagging over each other. And it went on for years. And I met these two guys from Brazil that are two of the top Brazilian artists ever. Mm. On Estão I met them on the corner. And I was like, do you want to paint this? And they were like, sure. Mm. And I painted it, and I haven't had a single person on my roof since. his art for a while now and he grew up just in five points so I think okay. he's a local kid. Um, we reached out to him and asked if he'd be interested in doing a project and it was still when he actually had a good amount of time so we had that fun. This mural painted on our first anniversary party and he had a way to a block party for the year. Things painted again it was just that's character to me more than anything. 
you see a lot of these older buildings that have a lot of character and what anchored the community for a long time. Most of the people that are out there just to tag a name or a symbol or something on something on a wall or something has been incredibly respectful of the art that's already in place. So, like our wall over here on a mural, I mean, it's hard to say anybody would go and tag something over it or make it, you know, mm -hmm. devalue the art of it more than anything. Mm -hmm. It goes back to what we want in the neighborhood as far as the people and the vibe and the scene that we want. I feel like right now it's moving in a very you know, hip and trendy kind of direction more than anything. Um, I think that the younger crowds that are moving into the neighborhood is we don't have a lot of housing developments or anything within Rhino. It's pretty much all apartment living, which tends to lead to more, you know, the younger crowds and people that, you know, want to be more transient and part of the city.
Rhino Retail Store is also being made to sell and support the work of artists in the area. There are large building projects underway along the river, including parks and the promenade with bike lanes. While this Denver neighborhood is certainly undergoing a rebirth, it is also important to the community that it stays connected to its creative history. Mm-hmm.